Muggle Mischief Managed, so I think I've decided that I'm going to use that as my channel name. Um, today we are going to be unbagging a mini haul from uh, a company called Out of Print. It's a mini haul because it's only about four items that I ordered, um, but I think they're really cool and I think you're going to like them. Um, so it's an unboxing, but it's really an unbagging because it came in a bag. Um, I was I opened it already because I wasn't sure if everything was in there because it was just in a small little bag But it's really cute. It has the little books all over it. Um, so they do uh, different book or literary themed items uh, t-shirts and pins and socks um, so I will Put their link for the website down below um, But let's get started so I'm going to show you the small stuff first and wait and show you the big thing that I ordered um, last. But there are four items. So paper. All right. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can get more awesome Harry Potter content. Um, and hit the notification bell so that you get updates of when I post videos. Um, the first item that I'm going to show you is a pair of Dobby socks. Aren't they so cute? Okay, so you can only sort of see the one pair. They have they're green. Well, it's one pair, but they're two different socks like they are in the book. Um, so one has the golden snitches on it. These are the socks I believe that Dobby gives to Harry for Christmas. Um, I forget which book it is. I think it might be Order of the Phoenix. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then the one on the inside, the red one, crinkles. The red one on the inside, I don't know if you can see that, it has little brooms. They're so cute. Um, so this, this pair was $12 on the out of print website. And it does look like it's officially licensed. Yes. It has the Warner Brothers and the Wizarding World on them. Um, so they do come in two sizes, I believe. Yes, I got the smalls and then there's the larges as well. Um, so they go as low as five and a half for women's is um, so they're like ranges, like five and a half to, I think it's a seven and a half, and then eight through nine for women's. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'll post the link to, to the website for out of print down below so you can explore yourself. Um, but these are so cute and I'm so excited to wear them. Yes. All right. So that is the first item. Um, the next two things are pins. Ugh. All right. So the first pin is the when in doubt pin. And this, as you can see, it says when in doubt, go to the library. So this is like practically Hermione's mantra because she's always going to the library. I got this. I'm, I've started a pin collection. Um, I only have a couple so far. I have ones um, over actually on my pop shelf just sitting there. Um, but I have ones that I actually got in the Wizarding World um, in Orlando. I don't even know how long ago. Years. Years and years. And they've just been sitting on the cardboard thing that they come on. They're each of the houses and I think the Hogwarts crest is in the middle. Um, but yeah, so I've started collecting some other pins. So I'm hoping to get some like wall hangings that I can pin all these to um, to start my collection. So I thought this was a good one because Hermione is my favorite character. And yeah, so that's this was $10. So $10. Not too bad for a pin. It's, I mean, it's a really good quality. It's a little small. Like it's... Maybe an inch big or so. But they're definitely packaged really nice. I believe it's made out of hard enamel. 
it looks it just says enamel pin I'm not sure if it's hard or soft enamel but that's really cute um, the <laughs> the second one I got is books turn muggles into wizards so it's the same type of pin it's a little book which I'm not sure if you can see it um, but this one's more of a blue so the other one was black and gold and this one is blue and silver so they kind of have like Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff colors I didn't really think about that before um, but they're super cute they're just like little books and I thought they would be a good addition to my starting pin collection this one was also ten dollars um, but they're really cute the last thing I got okay Let me get it out of the little bag here that it came in. I'm so excited. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the last item that I got. Oh, yes. So this is a Harry Potter sweatshirt. It's not like as thick as like this sweatshirt is from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter as well from Orlando. And I, I also got this a long time ago. This is pretty heavy. Like it's a, it's like a heavy, heavier sweatshirt. This is more of like a long sleeve thermally type sweatshirt. But as you can see, it has the front cover of the American versions of the Harry Potter books, um, the hard covers. So it has Harry Potter on his broom with the snitch. And actually, I don't know if you can tell but the print at the top here is gold and it's sparkly. Oh, I love it. And it's long sleeve with little like cinched bottom. And then the sleeves also have like the a nice big cuff there. Um, I, I got an extra small. Um, these are unisex types of sweatshirts. They have unisex products like with t-shirts and stuff like that. They do have some women's products for the the um, more slouchy tees and the v-necks and stuff but this one is unisex. So they say for women to size down I usually am about a small um, so, but I got an extra small so I'll have to see if it fits. It looks like it's gonna fit um, but for men they say to just go with your normal size. Um, this was $45. So it's a bit much for a sweatshirt. Usually I don't buy sweatshirts anything over like $35, $40 and they have to be like awesome. This was $45, um, but I just thought it was so cool. Um, so I got it. Um, I did have a discount code too. So when I first logged on, since I was new and I think I subscribed to their email list, they gave me a 20% off coupon. So the whole, this whole haul actually cost it was like the total was like $77, but with the 20% off coupon code, um, I believe it went down to like 6150. Um, yeah. Oh, Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this before. Okay, so on the tag, they give you like a little Hogwarts library card. How cute is that? I think I'm going to have to keep that. It's really cute. Oh, it's okay. So it's the out of print New York. I think it's the people that work there. At first I thought it was Hogwarts character names. Like... Harry Potter, but I think it's actually the people that work there. That's still really cute. I like that. It's very personalized. Um, but yeah, so this is also licensed because it has the official tag with the um, Wizarding World of Warner Brothers stuff on the back. So yeah, I'm super excited to wear this now that it's actually cool out. Yes. So what do you think? Um, leave a comment down below about what your favorite item was that I got in this little mini haul. Um, if you want to check out their website, yeah, I'll put the link down below. 
Uh, feel free to ask any questions or anything else. I'm not being paid to promote out of print. I bought all this stuff on my own, um, and I just wanted to give uh, you guys a little sneak peek at what I bought. Um, thanks again for tuning in and watching my video. Uh, stay tuned for further videos. I have a huge order from Walmart coming in. I'm waiting for all of it to come in before I do an unboxing for you guys. Uh, I got one really big box today, but I still have a couple things I have to get. And actually, one of the items is going to be a giveaway because I got two. And I'm going to give a, do a giveaway to my first 100 subscribers. So if you subscribe to my channel um, and be, um, become one of the first 100, uh, you will be entered to win the prize. And I, I will hopefully be showing that in my next video. Um, other than that, another quick announcement. Uh, my sales from Mercari for the month of November. Mercari is a selling app and I've been getting rid of some of my excess Harry Potter stuff. So I had a ton of Funko Pops that I, I mean, I just couldn't keep them all because I'm trying to do new Harry Potter shelves and giant boxed figurines just I just couldn't keep them all I had way too many so I'm getting rid of some of those I have like some clothing I have some Alex and Ani uh, Harry Potter bracelets and other jewelry on there as well so 50% of the proceeds from any sales I make in November on my Mercari account are it going to go to Lumos the Lumos Foundation, J.K. Rowling's Foundation to support children. Um, other than that, you're going to have to probably go on Mercari if you have used the app before. Um, you can't really just search by user, by seller. Um, so you're going to have to look at, up specific items and then just try and find the listings that are mine and then you can see all my listings once you find one. So one thing I am selling on there is the George Weasley Yule Ball Funko Pop character. Um, if you can find that, um, you'll be able to find my Mischief Managed uh, 0731 1980. It's Harry Potter's birthday. That's my account. I'll put the information down below. Um, so you can just double check and then you can see all the items there if you want to look through some of the stuff that I'm uh, trying to get rid of. Uh, so yeah, Walmart ordered to come and I'll be doing an unboxing with that. Other than that, I haven't gotten any of my subscription boxes yet. I know people have said that a lot of the companies can get really behind on that, but I should be getting a Geek Gear box like really soon. It said it shipped, but I know they're coming from the UK, so it can take up to like two to three weeks, I think, and it shipped at the end of October. I think it was like October 25th. Um, so it's been a little while. I think it's been almost two weeks. So I'll have to check that. Um, I'm also expecting some Harry Potter shoes from a random company that I've never heard of. I found them on Instagram and I ordered shoes. So I ordered a pair for myself and then I ordered um, another pair in a size 8 or like Converse high top shoes that I'll be uh, showing you guys in another video um, and I will probably be giving those away as well I may um, sell them to again earn some money for the Lumos Foundation I'm not sure yet but I do want to show them to you because they're they're pretty sweet um, they do take a little while to get to the US though because I believe the company is out of um, somewhere in Asia I, I'm guessing China or Japan I'm not sure um, but they have taken, I think I ordered them like three or four weeks ago, um, and I just got confirmation a couple days ago that they were in LA. They finally made it to the port there, so I'm assuming it's probably going to take another couple days for them to get here, but I'm hoping to show you those then. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching and getting into the mayhem here with me. Uh, stay tuned for future videos. Thanks. Bye.